Welcome gardening enthusiasts. Today, let's explore an innovative and space-saving method to grow delicious tomatoes, the bag gardening technique. In this video, I'll guide you through the simple steps of cultivating vibrant, juicy tomatoes right in the convenience of a bag. From choosing the right soil mix to nurturing your plants and harvesting flavorful tomatoes, join me on this journey as we harness the power of recycled materials and resourceful gardening to create a thriving tomato garden. Get ready to transform any space into a fruitful haven for these wonderful fruits. Let's dive in. Why use bags? Using grow bags makes tomato growing possible in tight spaces like a deck, patio, porch, driveway, you name it. Elevating the tomato plant growing it in a sterilized potting mix and placing it away from other plants, deck, patio, etc., greatly reduces the risk of disease bags being moved around throughout the growing season. You can even move them indoors in the fall to extend your harvest. Buying a few bags or recycling is much cheaper than building a raised bed or buying planter pots. Choose the right variety. There are two main classes of tomatoes, determinate and indeterminate. Determinate tomatoes grow more like a bush rather than sprawling vines. That means that these varieties will have a more compact nature and are less likely to become a big mess and topple over. Indeterminate tomatoes are high producing, however, they can easily take over the space that they are planted in. They need consistent pruning, training and trellising to keep them contained. Indeterminate tomatoes are best used in the garden rather than bags. Best potting soil for tomatoes. The best potting soil for tomatoes is a well-balanced mix that's moisture retentive yet well draining. Look for a blend with high organic matter like compost, peat moss or coconut coir. A mix enriched with nutrients such as perlite or vermiculite for aeration and drainage is ideal. Additionally, a pH balanced soil with added calcium can help prevent blossom end rot. Best time to transplant tomatoes. Transplant tomatoes outdoors when the risk of frost has passed and the soil temperature consistently reaches around 60 to 70 Fahrenheit. Typically, this aligns with late spring or early summer, depending on your region's climate. Ensure the plants are sturdy, about 6-8 inches tall, with well-developed leaves before transplanting. Harden them off gradually by exposing them to outdoor conditions for a few hours daily before planting. Prune suckers. Weekly. Tomatoes are vigorous growers, and not all of their growth is good. Tomatoes are prone to growing suckers or new stems that will not flower or produce fruit. If left in place, they will suck resources from the plant while crowding out the producing stems. Suckers grow between the main stem and the leaf crotches, so be on the lookout for these. If caught early, they can be easily pulled off with your fingers. Support tomato plants. Tomato plants offer numerous reasons for support. Their sprawling nature benefits from support structures like stakes, cages or trellises, preventing breakage and aiding in proper growth. Supports also elevate fruits, reducing rot and pest damage. Structurally supporting vines ensures better air circulation, minimizing disease risks. Tips for growing tomatoes in grow bags. Tomatoes need adequate direct sunlight for strong growth and prolific fruit production. Find the sunniest location near your home and place your grow bags here. Ideally, this location should have eight hours of direct sunlight per day. Tomatoes are very heavy feeders, especially once they start to develop fruit. Make sure to fertilize every two to three weeks with an organic fertilizer. I prefer organic weed tea. It's stinky, but it works really well. Potting soil is light and drains well, which means we will need to water frequently. 
If there's no rain in the forecast, water daily. If it's exceptionally hot out, water twice daily to keep the roots cool. Tomatoes are typically ready for harvest when they've reached their mature color, red, yellow, etc., depending on the variety. Additionally, they should feel firm, but yield slightly to gentle pressure. Harvest time varies. Determinate tomatoes tend to ripen around the same time, while indeterminate ones ripen gradually. For optimal taste, pick when fully colored and firm. I hope you like this information. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family.